you're what is going on youtube it's your boy nasa do we coming back at you with another video today i'm showing you how to do co-op fast and easy on elder ring i gotta keep the series going the first two that i ever made did great for the channel and i greatly appreciate everybody who subbed and supported the channel now like i said this is fast and easy there's three items you're gonna need and i'm gonna put them on screen right now so get that out the way get them three items and i want to do one more thanks to everybody one more thanks can y'all please please sub to the channel we almost at 1k that would be greatly appreciated if this video helped you in any way a sub would be greatly appreciated a like helps the video out and yeah we finna get a cracking your boy got you let's go we got more yeah foreign girls they want it more yeah this ain't no battle this a war yeah i'm in this war like i'm thor now with the introductions out of the way, I want you guys to understand and the description will be, and I want to emphasize, the description will be like a mini wiki. Anything I say in this video will be down there in reading format. So if you don't understand the item, if you don't understand anything, it will be in the description. So now with that out of the way, the first item I want you guys to understand is what a calling finger is. This finger lets you summon co-op partners into your world to slay a boss. When that task is completed, they are kicked out. So that is the main thing you need to know with the calling finger. You can craft this item when you get the crafting kit you can craft this item so it's very very easy i feel like front software made it more this game like way more co-op friendly so that's how we move in now it's on to the next one now with me done explaining what a calling finger is i need to explain to you guys what a whitey figure is and why they're so important this lets you summon a pool of players into your world to help you slay a boss you will only see a whitey figure around when you're in a boss area now you need to pop a calling finger to summon these pool of players so once you interact with this sign you pop the calling finger and watch the summon signs pull up that's pretty much what it is instead of you just waiting around like in other souls games that you waiting around for a sign to pop up in this game they let you control it with these white figgies you come there you interact with it so if you want someone to help you, you just hit it and boom that's it that's pretty much what a white figgy is there's no more waiting around like in other soul games where you're just hoping that you'll just wait by a bonfire and hope to god someone post someone post this sign down somewhere but in this game they let you control it a little bit more it's more freedom so that's it he probably like bitch you so i want to be something in other worlds i want to help i want to get back to others i want to make everybody life a little bit easier well you could do that by using one item that is the tarnished finger basically i feel like for the best results is to place it by a white a figgy and just wait to be summoned that's basically how it rolls there that's very self-explanatory i don't really understand any other thing better than that but like i did in this clip i just placed it down by a white figure and i got summoned instantly as you can see so yeah now the last item i definitely want to talk about is the golden figgy this item pretty much the same as the tarnished finger the only difference is that this item sends your calling sign to multiple white figgies to be put into a summoning pool now you have no choice of where your summoning sign is put when you use the golden in the figure. It just sends it out to multiple whoever so happens to call you in. That's where you're going to be fighting at. Now, not to confuse it with the tarnished finger, you can control where you place that summoning sign unlike the golden in the figure which just posts it everywhere and whoever calls you in calls you in. So hopefully I explained very well there. I'm hoping I did. Please, I hope I did. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much. Now I'm going to talk about playing with your friends with password matching the last part of the video and that's it there's really no items involved it's the same items we were talking about before so yeah let's get into that now you're probably sitting there like yo jutsu unlike you i want to play with my friends i don't want to play with any random so lucky for you there's password matching in this game just like any other souls born game all you have to do is just hit the options button go to multiplayer type in the same password and that's it that's it use the same items we talked about before for a calling if you want to host tardis finger if you want to join someone that's it if you didn't understand anything i said the description will be fully detailed other than that i greatly appreciate everybody who stuck through the whole video with me and they and they got what i was trying to say and i hope i explained everything perfect a sub would be greatly appreciated we're almost close to 1k on youtube that'll be greatly appreciated i stream on twitch every week so that'll be great if y'all can come through and check me out there i'm playing elder ring currently as of right of this recording i'm still playing elder ring so please come through and I hope everybody enjoys their night. And again, a sub and a like be graciously appreciated for the video, please. We trying to hit that 1K, and I'm trying to make sure this video pop. So thank you, and all the support, whoever still supports my videos or whatever. Thank you.